Hi everyone, I am Justin and welcome to another Weight Watchers Clinic strength training routine. I am joined today by my co-host Scout, who's really just gonna be you know, napping today. It's a good day for a nap outside. We are gonna go through six dumbbell-based exercises today. Everything that we do today is going to be standing. I do have a chair here that's gonna be a little bit of extra help, not only for Scout sitting down, but also for a row that we're gonna end up doing later. So if you have a chair or something like that where you can put your hand on that, that's fantastic. So what we're gonna do first is go through one whole round of six exercises. Throughout these six exercises, I'll tell you the name of the exercise, where you should be feeling it, what we're working, what to focus on for technique. Second and third rounds, which are gonna be optional, you will have a built-in 30 seconds rest. So the first exercise that we're going to do is a dumbbell deadlift. So you can hold one weight, two weights, you can even do this one just body weight. So to get this one down, which is a little bit challenging, is we do wanna bend our legs a little bit, and we wanna hinge back at our hips. So we're not just leaning forward like that. We're doing that leg bend, pushing our hips backwards. And you're gonna feel that in your quads, your hamstrings, and your glutes. Focus on keeping your back nice and straight. We're gonna do 10 of these exercises together. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, doing great, and 10, well done. Our next exercise is called the overhead press. So for this, what we're gonna do is have our palms face each other and press straight up over our head. I'm gonna show you from this side, but what I'm also gonna show you is how to, and this is the version that I'll do, if you have any shoulder issues, don't press straight up. Go ahead and press out like that. If you feel like you're extending too much with your low back, maybe check the weight. Maybe use a little bit less weight. You can also try staggering your stance just a little bit, okay? So give either of those a try. This is working our shoulders and it's also working our triceps. So we're gonna go through 10 of these together. Here we go. In this case, I'm gonna press out an angle. Again, this is good if you have any shoulder issues. So here we go. One. Two, still keeping my palms facing each other. Three. Four, how you doing, Scout? Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And 10, well done. So we are going to do our next exercise, which is going to involve having one hand on the bench, okay? So what we're gonna do is hinge back, just like how we did with that deadlift before. So push your hips back, and we're going to row up, drive up with your elbow. That's gonna work our back and our biceps, okay? We're gonna do 10 of those together. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Awesome. Let's go ahead and do that other arm. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Work on keeping your back nice and straight. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. And well done. So that was our row. We have another exercise coming up. We're just gonna hold on to one weight. It's the wide stance squat, okay? So we're gonna take our feet nice and wide. And what we're going to do is, for this, this is gonna be a more knee-friendly variation. We're going to sit back like that, push our knees out as we sit back. So we're going, not going in like this. I'm pushing my knees out. I'm sitting back, leaning forward more, much more knee-friendly, okay? So we are gonna go for 10 of these together. Again, sitting back, driving those knees out. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Scout's tired, right, Scout? Four. Still early for him, huh? Five. Six. Seven. 
8. Although it looks like it's uh, stopping raining, Scout, so we can go outside. And bad at counting, let's call that 10. Okay, two more exercises left. This next one's only gonna be five on each side. A little bit of a core exercise, a little bit of a shoulder exercise. It's gonna be the cross body chop. So we're just crossing up like this. We're gonna go five. I've staggered my stance just a little bit so that if I'm going to my left, my right foot is back and I'll just switch that when I do the other side. Here we go. One, control on the way down. Two, three, four, Five and other side. One, two, three, four, and five. Awesome. We have one exercise left in this last round. We're gonna get two weights, and it's gonna be the hammer curl. So our palms are facing each other, and all we're doing is bending at our elbows up just like this to work our biceps. So here we go. Let's get into 10 of those together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Awesome job. That was the end of our first round. It's going to be up to you if you want to stick with me for a second and a third round. We will move back to that dumbbell deadlift. Just a little note. You might be able to go a little bit heavier on that dumbbell deadlift than you would on the hammer curl. There's a lot more muscle involved. I know I only have a pair of fives here, but if you have different weights, you probably want to use a lighter weight for your curl, a little bit heavier weight for the deadlift. As long as technique is down, always focus on technique first. So let's go ahead and get into that second round if you're sticking with me for the deadlifts. Here we go. One, I got my toes pointed forward for this. My feet are shoulder width apart, which is different than that wide stance squat. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, awesome job. See you back here in 30 seconds for the overhead press. Here we go, going into the overhead press. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Awesome job, 30 second break. You can hold on to one weight and we'll be back here for the row. Getting into the row, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and let's switch over to the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Awesome job. I'm gonna see you back here in 30 seconds for that wide stance squat.
here we go. Getting into that wide stance squat. Sitting back, here we go. One, go with the range of motion that you feel comfortable with. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Tremendous job. Two exercises left in this second round. See you back here for the cross body chop soon. Let's get into that cross body chop. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, and other side. One, two, three, four, five, and right. Last break of the second round, and we'll be back here for our curls. Here we go, let's get into the curls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Great job, you get a 30 second break. Actually, I lied, we'll just talk real quick. You will technically get a 30 second break. We're gonna go into our third round really soon. Again, that's gonna be optional, but I always like to remind people that we have a strength training support group on Connect, so please feel free to join that. We actually have close to 1,200 members now, so please feel free to join that. Drop in any questions that you have about strength training, about exercise, be happy to answer it for you. Now, that's about 30 seconds. So let's get into our dumbbell deadlift last round. You ready, Scout? He's ready. All right. One, it's a better position for sleeping. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, great job. 30 second break. Back here for the overhead press. Let's get into it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Great job. 30 seconds break, and we'll be back here for the row.
All right, here we go, getting into that row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 and other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Well done. Okay, 30 second break. We have three exercises left. We'll be back here for that wide stance squat. Last wide stance squat, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, doing great, nine, and 10, well done, all right. See you back here, two exercises left. We have the cross body chop and then the hammer curl. Five and other side. One, two, three, four, and five. Last exercise in 30 seconds the hammer curl. Get into it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Great job. Remember, all members can reach out to me on Connect within the Strength Training Support Group if you have any questions. Thanks for showing up. Way to prioritize your health, and I'll see you here for the next one.